गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माई नेम इज अभिषेक सचदेवा आई एम फ्रॉम लालपुर खालसा कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग एंड दिस इज द लेक्चर फॉर सिविल सिक्स सेमेस्टर क्लास एंड द सब्जेक्ट इज प्रोफेशनल प्रैक्टिस तो स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड द एनालिसिस ऑफ रेट्स फॉर बैंकिंग दैट मीन्स द फिलिंग वर्कस एंड in this particular lecture we will be discussing how to prepare the analysis of rates for mortars so students what is basically a cement mortar and uh, where it is used initially if we start with the introduction to the mortar the mortar basically it is the mixture of cement and sand and um, a small quantity of water is added to it and they are mixed together to form a cement mortars so where the mortars they are used if we are uh, going through the building construction works the mortars they are used for plastering right for pointing works uh, for repairs of any joints or for filling up the uh, voids so mortars they are basically the mixture of the cement and the fine sand mixed up with a small proportion of the water and uh, it is used for basically the plastering works so now how to work out the cost of this particular mortars as you all know students we have earlier also discussed if we talk about the mortars there are different kinds different proportions of the mortars the proportion may include 1 ratio 1 1 ratio 2 like you can see over here if we look into the dsr 2014 the rates of various uh, various mortars they are given to us right the unit of the mortars they are cubic meter you can see item 3.1 cement mortar 1 is to 1 1 is to 2 1 is to 3 1 is to 4 1 is to 5 so depending upon the visibility of where the mortar is to be used for the particular type of the building construction works the ratios are there and uh, the rates for each ratio it varies you can see one ratio one that means cement is to fine sand one ratio three cement is to fine sand the ratio is cement is to fine sand ratio and we need to work out the quantity of the materials which are used for the cement mortars the materials it will be the cement and the fine sand obviously we we are uh, able to view it from the ratio itself and uh, the other components we will include and we will work out the cost now as per the dsr 2014 the rate if we pick up this 3.1 item cement mortar 1 is to 1 that is one part of the cement and one part of the fine aggregate unit is cubic meter and the rate is rupees 7441.25 so rupees 7441.25 we need to prepare the analysis for this item and we will be discussing the same in the particular lecture now cement mortar 1 is to 1 right this is the analysis of rates detailed analysis of rates 2014 and 3.1 item the rate was 7441.25 so this is the particular bifurcation the analysis of this particular rate so as per this analysis what are the major components which are involved in this particular analysis first of all what are the particular components we are going to discuss you can see components include the material right the cost of the material the quantity of the material then the carriage of the material then labor component is involved and then the machinery component so we are going to focus on these particular components because they are the major components which are involved in the cement mortar item so you can see this detail of cost of 1 cubic meter the unit is cubic meter 
the unit of the cement mortar is cubic meter the payment which is done to the contractor against the cement mortar work is for the cubic meter rates so we will prepare the cost of detail of one cubic meter right so uh, first of all material if we look, look into the analysis material portland cement is used then fine sand fine sand is used so material will be the cement and the sand then if we are talking about the carriage part the material it will be uh, transported to the site right so carriage of the cement and carriage of the fine sand will be included as the carriage part then talking about the labor component beldar and bishti they will be used and uh, for marrying carrying and depositing and mixing so Pildar and Bishti and if we are talking about the machinery part the mechanical mixture it will be used to mix up the ingredients of the motor and to get the motor so higher and running charges of the mechanical mixture lump sum amount of 47.88 rupees may be taken for the higher and running charges of the mechanical mixture right this is also as per the basic rates which are given in the detailed daily schedule of rates 2014 so from here we can take this rates and lump sum item you can remember this uh, 47.88 against the higher and running charges of the mechanical mixture then sundries lump sum again 24 rupees 07 pesos it may be included while preparing this particular analysis of rates right and uh, the total cost it is worked out so students you need to remember this quantity quantity we will be calculating right how the quantities they have been calculated why this ton the unit of the cement cement is cubic meter but as per the dsr the daily schedule of rates or the analysis of rates the units the mode at which the payment is made against this cement the material or the carriage of the cement that is taken as tons so we will come convert the cubic meter into tons and we will use the ton as a unit against the cement and the carriage of the cement so this is the analysis uh, this is the analysis now you need to remember this labor part labor part the quantity for the day for pelder it will be 0.75 and for bishti it will be 0.07 you need to remember this quantity of the labor right the material quantity we will calculate and the carriage of the material it will be same as the quantity of the material required for the cement mortar works and uh, now we will first of all calculate this quantity of the material how this quantity has been calculated you can see this this is the question how you have to attempt it in the examination from the examination point of view you need to attempt this question in the same manner as i am uh, showing you uh, prepare analysis of rates for cement mortar 1 ratio 1 as it is in our question So, calculation of dry volume, volume of wet mortar, it will be the one cubic meter. We are now calculating the dry volume. If we are getting the mortar, if we are obtaining the mortar from the concrete mixture, and the volume which we are getting, or the uh, analysis. which we are preparing is of the 1 cubic meter and that 1 cubic meter it will not be the dry volume it will be the wet volume because it will be including the water in it and it will be the mortar and mortar it is when we are talking about the mortar the mortar is wet in nature so detail of cost of 1 cubic meter we are preparing and that 1 cubic meter is the volume of the wet mortar right so volume of wet mortar is 1 cubic meter 
we need to calculate the dry volume and for calculation of this dry volume to achieve the dry volume the wet mortar quantity may be increased by 42 percent so you need to remember this factor students it is achieved from the practical experience practical work done practical volume attained on the site so for the volume of the wet mortar one cubic meter to achieve the dry volume the wet mortar quantity may be increased by 42 percent so therefore the dry volume of mortar becomes 1.42 cubic meter so this is the calculation of the dry volume 42 percent of the wet volume of the motor has been increased to attain the dry volume this is important right and uh, next now the calculation of the material calculation of the material it will be done in this manner first of all we need to sum up the proportions we are preparing the analysis of rate for one ratio of one cement motor so that means the proportion we need to add this one plus one it will be two right now quantity of the cement how the quantity of the material it will be calculated you can say this quantity of cement it is equal to dry volume dry volume which was 1.42 which we have calculated earlier divided by the sum of the proportions sum of the proportions it is 1 plus 1 that is 2 multiplied by, multiplied by the proportion of the material now proportion of the material that means if we are having one ratio of one and we are calculating the quantity of the cement the proportion of the material here it will be one because it is one part of cement so dry volume divided by sum of proportions multiplied by the part of the particular material so 1.42 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 equal to 0 0.71 cubic meter now as per the analysis as per the dsr or the dar the quantity of the cement calculated is taken as tons so we need to convert this 0 0.71 cubic meter into the tons to convert this 0 0.71 cubic meter into ton you can use this relation as one cubic meter it is equal to 1.43 ton so 0 0.71 cubic meter will be 0 point uh, uh, sorry 1.02 tons so 1.02 tons the quantity of the cement we have achieved and quantity of the same sand same formula dry volume divided by the sum of proportion into the part of the sand so the part of sand also it is one because the ratio is one is to one so multiply it with me one and you will get 0 0.71 cubic meter so this is the calculation of the material you can also calculate the number of bags this is not included in the analysis because in the analysis we are only using the unit of cement as ton and we are only bothered about this 1.02 ton value but for your knowledge students you can work out the uh, number of bags which are to be used for this particular item the number of bags of cements which are to be used for this particular item of the cement motor one is to one how the cubic meter it is converted into the bags i'll uh, i have written this uh, relation uh, for 0 0.034 cubic meter of the volume the number of bag is one as in the one bag if we consider one bag the weight of the one bag it is 50 kg and the volume of that same bag is 0 0.034 cubic meter you must be aware about these relationship students because at site when you are working you should be aware you should be aware about these particular relationships and the factors so for one cubic meter of volume of cement the number of bags it will be one divided by 0 0.034 and for 0 0.71 cubic meter of volume of cement the number of total bags which are calculated is 20.88 or approximately it will be 21 bags so 21 bags they are required for this particular work of cement motor one ratio one so this is the quantity calculation now this is the analysis how you are going to attempt this question in the examination in the same manner you will do the solution you will show the initially the quantity calculation right you will show initially the calculation of the uh, dry volume 
right and then you are going to prepare this table and you are you are going to work out the cost of the one cubic meter of the item so components material carriage of material labor and machinery material it is the portland cement and the fine sand materials the quantity we have calculated earlier in the previous slide 1.02 and 0.71 so 1.02 tons and 0.71 cubic meter rate you need to remember rate for the portland cement uh, per ton 5300 and uh, fine sand 700 rupees per cubic meter so rate you need to remember and uh, then carriage of material again you need to remember the rate and the quantity it will be the same as the quantity of the material for carriage of cement 1.02 ton carriage of sand 0.71 ton right it will be same as the quantity calculated for the material rate again you need to remember this rates carriage of cement 94.65 rupees per ton and carriage of the uh, sand it is 106 rupees 49 pesa per cubic meter so this rates you need to remember right and uh, then labor component students you need to remember this quantity because this quantity it has been calculated basis on on the basis of the per day output of the labor for this particular item so you know don't, uh, don't need to remember that particular factors per day outputs directly you remember this quantity because in any case you need to remember one parameter either you need to remember the per day output or you need to re directly remember the quantity so students you need you just remember this particular quantity and uh, Deldar, it is 0 0.75 for this particular item, for any item which is related to this cement motor works, the labor component, it will remain same for any item, either it is 1 ratio, 2 ratio, 1 ratio, 3, 1 ratio, 4, the labor component, it will remain same. So you need to remember this Deldar 0 0.75, it will be used for uh, any item of cement motor and Vishti 0.07 per day will be used for any type of the cement motor work. Then fourth is the machinery. So higher and running charges of the machinery, lump sum item it can be taken and the amount is 47.88 rupees and uh, the sundry is again lump sum 27.07 rupees and the total sum is 7441.27 as we have uh, initially seen over here the 7441.27 right so this is the analysis of rates for the cement motor thank you